This is part five of, so far, of my uh, Animesh for OpenSim series. I hope it doesn't get away from me and become more than five parts. So what is wrong with the BVH file that we made in the last video? If you load it as is, it will not do what you expect. This is because different 3D programs have different assumptions about what axes to use. Blender encourages you to use Y forward Z up, but lets me make all of my objects using the OpenSim default of X forward and Z up. Some 3D systems assume Z forward and Y up. The BVH file format is one of those. So the viewer transforms the coordinates while reading BVH files. Unfortunately, we just made a BVH file that matches our X forward Z up model. In the export as BVH file, file a dialog, the rotate dropdown does not help. This is probably a bug. I want to keep using the X forward Z up system. So what I end up doing is scrambling BVH files in a way that will be undone by the viewer's transformation. This requires editing the BVH file with the text editor to fix it. This has the side effect that I can also make other changes to the file, like change the frame rate or add more frames. But the one change you have to make is to change the order of the X, Y, and Z axes. Using a text editor, I use something called Programmer's Notepad, you have to take every occurrence of X rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation, and replace it with Z rotation, X rotation, Y rotation. After you've done that stupid thing, save the file that way, and now we can move on to trying it out in world. So here we are back in world in OpenSim. And this is the, the poll that we loaded earlier and we didn't have an animation for. Well, now we have an animation. So I'm going to upload animation. I'm going to find that animation file I created called DP1. Everybody always cranks their animations up to a priority of four. If you recall, our animation had frame number, there is no frame number zero. Frame number one is the T pose. So I want my animation to loop from frame number two to frame number 25. And there really isn't anything else you need to load. The ease in and ease out actually work correct way but that's a whole nother lesson so let's just upload this file its file is dp1 i can go to the contents of my uh, cylinder and put that animation in there now a very important thing that i always forget to do is you have to go into features and you have to click the animated mesh button uh, when you do, things tend to jump around and move, but hey, that's not my fault. And then you have to have a script to start it. Well, I have a simple Animax script here. It has only, how many lines is this? Six lines. In the, in the state entry, it has a line that says start object animation. And its uh, only argument is get inventory name. Uh, inventory animation comma zero, which means get the name of the first animation in inventory and start it. So that should be uh, pretty easy to do. I'm just going to drag that in here and then let go. And look, our, our pole is dancing. So one could go back to the... Uh, the blender file and add more more moves to this animation but we have succeeded in making something that is animesh and got and verified that it is in fact working <laughs> 